GPT-5 is poised to usher in the next level of artificial intelligence, and OpenAI is leading its development. According to Sam Altman, he stated that GPT-5 would not undergo training for the next six months. By analyzing the dates, we can deduce that if this statement was made in May, training would cease around December, the seventh month. Interestingly, this implies that data collection for GPT-5 may have already commenced, as Altman did not specifically mention it. The absence of any mention regarding data collection suggests that it may already be underway, paving the way for the development of GPT-5. When discussing GPT-5, it is important to consider its different modalities, parameter size, and training methodology. One widely circulated graphic on the internet showcases the parameter counts of GPT-3 and an alleged GPT-4, displaying 175 billion and 100 trillion respectively. However, the information regarding GPT-4's actual parameter count is not publicly available, although many estimates place it around 1 trillion tokens. It should be noted that using GPT-4 in its current state is noticeably slower in responding compared to GPT-3.5. And this observation is not an overestimation. Recent advancements in the field of artificial intelligence have revealed that simply increasing the parameter count does not guarantee improved performance for language models. The crucial factor lies in the quality of the data used for training. Merely scaling up the parameters becomes ineffective if the underlying data lacks quality or relevance. Therefore, achieving better results with GPT-5 will require a careful balance between parameter size and the quality of the training data employed. It is important to acknowledge that GPT-5 is expected to exhibit advancements beyond GPT-4, even if the parameter count remains the same. These anticipated improvements introduce emerging capabilities that are difficult to predict based on the current understanding of GPT-4. Notably, GPT-4 introduced the concept of theory of mind, where the AI can contemplate how others think in various scenarios. This capability raises concerns regarding potential manipulation of humans, considering that large language models have access to extensive textual knowledge, including resources on persuasion and manipulation tactics. To better comprehend the concept of emerging capabilities, let's revisit a familiar clip that exemplifies this phenomenon. While you may have come across it before, it is essential for those who haven't seen it to grasp the idea. The emergence of new capabilities could potentially delay the release of GPT-5 because OpenAI researchers would need to understand, contain, or even eliminate any unforeseen capabilities that may arise. Some liken the nature of AI to electricity, but simply increasing the amount of electricity does not lead to the emergence of new intelligences. For instance, consider a situation where GPT-5 displays an unexpected ability to generate highly convincing fake news articles or deepfake content. Addressing such emergent capabilities would require careful analysis and mitigation strategies to ensure the responsible and ethical use of the AI system. This illustrates the complexity and challenges associated with developing and deploying advanced AI models like GPT-5. The rapid development of artificial intelligence, AI, poses numerous challenges in terms of regulation and governance. However, recent announcements have provided some hope in addressing these issues. The United Kingdom, UK, has revealed plans to obtain early or priority access to AI models from Google, OpenAI, and other organizations. This access is intended for research and safety purposes, aiming to enhance evaluations and deepen understanding of the opportunities and risks associated with AI systems. Furthermore, the European Union is working on a pioneering legislative framework known as the AI Act. This comprehensive legislation aims to regulate automated technologies encompassing algorithms, machine learning tools, and logic tools. While the AI Act has received criticism from certain European companies, including Renault, Heineken, Airbus, and Siemens, for potentially jeopardizing Europe's competitiveness and technical advantages, it sets a benchmark for other countries to follow.